like my YouTube filming space and the lighting is like blinding me right now. So just bear with me. Anyways, hopefully you guys are doing well today. Um, okay, so this is gonna be a little get ready with me and we're gonna talk about boobs and stuff. Um, first of all, I'm gonna start with the Jouer uh, Matte Primer. It's anti-blemish and I am on my period right now. It's very like smooth. I also have a discount code for Jouer if you ever wanna try any of their products and save a little bit of coin. It is just Kristen and I believe it gives you 15% off. Okay, somebody called 911. Hopefully they're all right. Um, I'm gonna be using today, I kind of said this on Instagram stories, but I feel like a lot of the makeup collections that I've been receiving in PR packages lately have been geared towards like children. Like it's just very kitschy packaging and colors that I would just never even wear, even if I was doing a colorful look. So I'm gonna go back to one of my tried and true Morphe palettes. This is a 35M palette. And this is what she looks like. So I got a direct message and someone was like, I'm gonna be using the Morphe concealer on my eyes. This is in C1.65. This concealer is pretty freaking old. So <laughs> see how this goes. Um, someone sent me a message and they were like, hey, are there any boob updates? And I was like, whoa, I, really haven't updated you guys after I did my video where I kind of went over my recovery or whatever and kind of like before and right after the boob job. But I realized that I didn't, I haven't talked to you guys about how I'm liking them, what's different if I don't like them or anything. So that's kind of what prompted this video. Maybe you don't know, maybe you're fresh and new to my channel, but I just recently got my second boob job on April 1st, 2021, because I wasn't happy with my first one. And if you want to hear about, you know, kind of the reasons why, or you're thinking about getting a boob job, or maybe you already have it scheduled, I highly recommend watching that video. You may think you know everything about getting a boob job. I thought I did too. I did a lot of research and I really wish I would have considered a couple factors um, and talked to my doctor about them because clearly she was capable of creating the look that I wanted. I just didn't ask or say the right things. I'll link that for you guys below if you didn't know, like you don't know much about that. So this video is just basically going to be about my second boob job and how I am feeling about that boob job. I feel like I'm basically recovered from it now. The recovery was definitely easier than the first boob job because they did not have to cut my muscle again. So the first boob job I did under the muscle and I did textured silicone. Everyone was kind of sending me messages about the textured. Well, there's, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there is one specific creator or manufacturer of one of the textured ones that was getting recalled. The one that I got in was not being recalled. It wasn't just textured implants in general. It was a specific type. I was really not happy with the nipple placement after they healed because a year later, the nip I felt like my nipples were like facing the ground. So I got the second boob job and I feel like, what is April, May? April, May to June, July. Yeah, it's been, you know, it's been like three months, three and a half months, whatever. And I'm feeling really good about my boobs. I'm sure you've noticed on my Instagram, if you follow me there, that I've definitely been showing them off a bit more. I'm still just not used to like having boobs in general to show off. As you can see, I'm like super, super stoked on where my nipple placement is. I know that Nick likes my boobs a lot more now. He has like basically said it without saying it. He's like, your boobs look perfect. And he never said that before. Okay, I started getting a little carried away off camera. I have not done like a little cut crease situation like this for so freaking long. So it's probably gonna turn out crooked, but that's the fun of makeup. Um, anyways, you guys asked me some questions on Instagram. So I'm gonna go through some of those. But before I do, I did wanna touch on my lips. So I got my lips done again. 
they are still healing and I'd like them probably just a little bit bigger, but a lot of you were asking about that. I got my lips redone. Basically, my lip filler was starting to migrate into my upper lip. The people that had done my um, lip injections recently, apparently you have to do it a different way, do lip injections differently if you have like M-shaped lips, like M, I mean like M right here. Like she rounded mine out as you can see, which I freaking love. So she dissolved all of my lip filler, which is why I haven't really been posting many selfies recently, honestly, because I don't like the way that I look with little lips. Like, you know, whatever. I should just love myself the way that I am. But we all have those things, right? So that, that was mine. I was like, ugh. So I finally got them redone. She did one syringe in there and that's kind of what I've got right now. And then she said I could go back and do more once it's healed up a bit. Someone asked me, um, are you staying at this size? Is this your second surgery? I got lost. Um, probably you and many other people. This is my second surgery, as I mentioned before. I had one other surgery and I felt like I was prepared, but I guess I really wasn't because I ended up with a result that I was not pleased with that I could have avoided. So the differences in what I did are again in my other videos, but I'll quickly go over them here. Um, so I, when I first got my boob job done, I think I did 385 cc's. I'm 5'9", so for me, that was a little too small. It depends what you're starting with, which I never considered. So like, for instance, if you're starting with a large B cup or a small C cup and you put 380 in your body, your results will look a lot larger than mine because I started with a small B. So that's definitely something to take into consideration. But anyways, so I did, I think it was like 380 and I felt like since I was gonna get them done again anyways, I might as well go bigger because I didn't feel like they fit my body being smaller. I will have to look at my paperwork, which I probably should have done before I started this video, but I think I did 605 cc's. So when I first got them done, I did textured implants and I did not like those. My body really hung on to them. It just was not the look that I was going for. And my nipple, they just stayed very high, but like not in a cute way. Like my nipples just stayed very low because the implants just like didn't drop. So that was one thing I changed. When I did my second boob job, I got, um, I did smooth. So I did smooth implants, smooth silicone implants, and I did half under the muscle, which is basically under the muscle. I had a doctor try and tell me that half under the muscle is like the way to go and it's different. And then my doctor salts, uh, my doctor salts in La Jolla, she was like, uh, that's literally the same exact thing. So I was like, all right, well, <laughs> Guess that clears that up. I'm gonna use a foundation that if you didn't watch some of my recent videos, you may not know that I've been using again um, because a lot of the foundation that I am using now, I used in my early 20s and mid 20s and they ended up just looking way too heavy on me. So I stopped using them and I tried them all out in a video again recently and the results are pretty shocking. Um, so I'll let you check that out if you want to. I'll link it in the description box below, but I basically Basically tried four foundations that I used to freaking love that have just not worked for me and I stopped using them and I hadn't tried them in like years. I recommend checking that out, but this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in this one actually, um, I will have to show you guys in a little bit. It looks like it matches now. It actually will oxidize. Thankfully, I'm not really going anywhere today. I do need to go to Ulta. <laughs> it's like the worst place to go with mismatched foundation that doesn't match your chest, but whatever. Back to my boots. Boobs. So yes, I did go bigger and I don't plan on getting my boobs done ever again. I mean, we'll see what they look like. Sometimes you have to get them redone around every 10 years, but according to my doctor, that's very like specific to each person. You know, hopefully I have no complications with mine. The healing process was easier than the first time because they didn't have to like cut my muscle and do that whole thing again. It was just 
it was like fairly easy because they just were taking out the implants that I had and replacing them. I actually didn't wear my bra at all, like that bra that they send you home with. And I'm not suggesting that you should not wear your bra if your doctor tells you to. My doctor told me to. Nick said I shouldn't wear it. He's like, I just, he's like, your body obviously really holds on to things, which is why you were, you know, unhappy with your last ones because you wore that bra the whole time. I mean, it didn't help that they were textured too, but he was like, I would just not wear it because your body really hangs on to things. And we know that now, you know, you want these to be lower. So he's like, I, you know, do, do make your own choice, do what you want to do. But he was like, I, if I were you <laughs> wouldn't wear that bra. So I didn't wear it. I think I wore it maybe like one or two days because I was worried about when I was sleeping that they would like, slide to the sides like that. I have so much more movement. Like when Nick touches my boobs or I touch my boobs or just I move, they like hang and move with my body like a normal non-fake boob would. They just look so much better in my opinion. My nipples are in a good place. Like they're a nice, they have, I have a nice ratio of boob under my boob and above, or I'm sorry, like under my nipple, like lower boob and like above. And the side boob is great and they just move around so much more. I did my eyebrows off camera because I literally cannot do my eyebrows on camera, especially because I'm missing some of the shades that I use. Someone said, how's the back for the first question? So I, my back has been hurting me lately. I honestly don't think it has to do with my boobs. I mean, it could play a slight role in it, but I don't think it does. I honestly think I'm just under a lot of stress right now. She also asked, did you lose any feeling? How was the healing and scar situation? And the, did they do like a full anchor? So as far as I know, I could be wrong, but as far as I know, the only time that they do a full anchor is if they're doing a lift or someone with large breasts is going where the hell? Oh, here it is. I was like, where did this go? I'm gonna use the Tarte Park Ave Princess. I don't know if they still sell this, but this is one of my absolute favorite bronzing palettes. So as far as I know, they only do that anchor situation. It's where they go from your nipple down and cut if they need to remove a lot of skin, which I did not have skin to remove. I mean, honestly, if I wanted to do this size, my first go around, my first surgery, I don't know if I would have been able to do it simply because I started with such a small boob to start with that I don't know if my skin would have been able to stretch out properly to accommodate 605 cc's. So I guess like it depends on the doctor and your body, but in my situation, I did not have to do the whole anchor thing. So that's awesome. If you saw my first video, I showed you guys the scar that I have under my boobs and I'll show it to you now after the second one. I think it's a little bit more noticeable, but I actually do put this scar stuff on it when I remember. I should do it every single day, but I don't because I don't remember. But one of you actually told me about this scar oil and you can get on Amazon. So I'll link it for you guys there uh, and in the description box. I have an Amazon like um, creator page where I'm going to start becoming a little bit more active on there. I might actually do some uh, Amazon lives. So if you want to follow me there, I'll link that for you too. There's just going to be all sorts of shit in the description box for you guys. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the scars. Um, I don't think that they're very bad. It kind of helps, I think, that I've got a tattoo there that kind of camouflages it a little bit. So did I lose any feeling? This is a question that I get asked a lot. So after my first boob job, I was, I had really, really sensitive nipples and I was nervous because at the time I had found out that I was pregnant also. And I was just like, oh damn, like I'm gonna have the most sensitive nipples like anyone's ever like heard of. I'm using this blush palette. I freaking love this blush palette. These are like almost like a highlighter kind, but it's just such a nice mixture of blushes in here. Um, um, this is the Morphe Blush Palette 8W. This is the Becca highlighter in Opal. I think Becca is going out of business, so get it while you still can. This is a really old one though. I don't know if you can still get this. Okay, so what the f 
was I talking about? Oh, feeling. So after my first boob job, my nipples were super, super sensitive. And if you watch some of my other videos, you probably like about the boob job, you probably remember me saying that. They were so sensitive to the point where I would have to tell Nick like, okay, don't touch my nipples, bro. Like don't mother touch them. Like I'm gonna, f I'm gonna hit you in the face. Like don't touch my nipples. I haven't noticed my nipples being sensitive like at all lately. So. I'm, I'm even on my period right now. So I think that the second boob job fixed my sensitivity. Like I don't freaking know because my nipples aren't really sensitive anymore. So I, I wouldn't say I lost feeling in my nipples. I could feel in my nipples. They just feel a little bit more normal. Okay, so I need a new um, eyelash curler. This is like a Revlon one or something. Yeah, dude, this is so crusty and old. Look at this. Look at that crust just built up on there. And I'm like, yeah, sure, let me just stick this right near my eye again, no big deal. Okay, someone said, did you experience any stretch marks? I'm getting mine in October and that's what I'm most worried about. Yes, I did get some stretch marks and I have to tell you that I don't know if it was because I was pregnant or not. I got sent this really cute little mascara by Huda Beauty, it's like a travel size one. It's so cute, look how cute it is. It's that little double sided one. I really like this one. Okay, so, um. Yes, I will show you guys my stretch marks as well as I can without showing you too much where YouTube will get mad. But I was also, I didn't notice them until like a couple months after I had gotten my boob job, you know, and I didn't actually talk to my doctor about stretch marks. I just thought, oh, I'm just like going up a little bit. Like I'm not gonna have any stretch marks, you know, no big deal. Like I, I guess I didn't even really think about it to be honest with you. By the time I noticed stretch marks, I was pregnant. I also was noticing other things about my boobs because of the pregnancy, such as my nipples had gotten a bit bigger and my boobs were super like translucent. Like you could see all the veins through like my skin, which is a symptom of being pregnant. And so I noticed some of the stretch marks around that time period. So was it from the pregnancy or was it from the actual like breast augmentation, I really don't know. Ever since I found out I was pregnant, I, I bought this um, stretch mark oil on Amazon, which I will link you guys to as well. It'll be on my Amazon store also. I started putting that on. So I've been putting it on my butt, my thighs, my stomach, and my boobs every single day, like when I can remember. And that's what I've been putting on to like prep my skin for being pregnant and to hopefully help with the stretch marks that I already have on my boobs. They're not that bad. You know, if I could not have the stretch marks, I'd probably choose that. So maybe they won't go away, maybe they will. Stretch marks are stretch marks. Like it's not the end of the world. You know, love your body the way that it is. Like my stretch marks are on my boobs now and I'm like, mm, you know, whatever, it's life. It's like a battle wound, I guess. <laughs> but um, yeah, so as far as like whether I had them or I just, I don't know if it was cause I was pregnant or cause it was, it was the boob drop, I, I really don't know. Someone said, you look amazing. Thank you so much, that's so sweet. Um, I really appreciate all the nice comments from you guys. It's been very uplifting and it's been really nice to read throughout dealing with the depression from my miscarriage. So thank you so much. Someone said, have you experienced any symptoms of breast plant illness? I have not. Um, I have been pretty aware of it because I've done a lot of research about it and I know, oh, I gotta put lashes on. And I know that it's a possibility. I guess I don't have any eyelashes. Uh, I think I left them at home. So that sucks, but it is what it is. So my makeup look is finished and my lip, oh, cute. <laughs> Got stuff in my teeth. My, uh, my lip liner and lipstick. Oh, there's some right here. Okay, I'm gonna use this. This is the Jaclyn Hill lip liner in chai tea. Look at my lips though, they look so good. She did such a freaking good job. I feel like my face is already getting a little darker than my chest. Um, okay, so I did do a lot of research on breast plant illness and I know that it has happened to some people. It hasn't happened to a high enough percentage of people who have gotten boob jobs for me to um, not get a boob job because of that. Cause I know that a lot of you guys out of concern for me have sent me links and messages and as much as I appreciate your intentions, um, I've done a lot of the research already and I, I know it's a risk. I knew it was a risk when I first did it. And I think with anything that you do like that, there is a risk. 
and there's a reward. So you just have to decide for you if it's a risk you're willing to take. It's your body. Don't let anyone else tell you what to do or what not to do because I damn well won't. Um, as much as I appreciate the, you know, concern and stuff, at the end of the day, it's my decision. And at the end of the day, it's your decision. The research that I did and what my doctor told me, the percentages were just so low that I just decided to move forward with it. And I will live with the consequences or not. So yes, I have not had any symptoms. I don't know. I think by now I would have already felt some of those symptoms if that's what was going to happen to me. Oh yeah, I'm gonna... This freckle right here, I can never really cover with foundation. So I usually just make it a little bit darker. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions about my boob job or just breast augmentations in general, I will be answering your guys' questions in the comments. So if I didn't answer your question that you left on my Instagram post, I'm so sorry but we ran out of time, but I will definitely be going through the comments and answering any questions that you have that I didn't answer in this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Again, I've been uploading on Monday, or I'm sorry, Tuesdays and Thursdays on this channel and then on my animal channel, I have been uploading on Sundays. That might switch to every other Sunday. I don't know how it's gonna go. We'll see. Um, <laughs> but uh, thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any ideas of like stuff you'd like to see on my channel, since I'm kind of getting back into the swing of things, definitely leave that in a comment below. I really appreciate it. And have an awesome day, guys. We will see you in the next video for like the 10th time. Bye.